Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another teardown video. So the video today is, as, as, as the title, is going to be on the GMMDI tool. And um, and let's gonna have a quick look, uh, open it, see the insides. I bought this as being a good quality one, so let's gonna open it and have a look at it, see exactly what we have. So. The outside of the tool, uh, just a normal tool, nothing, it's plastic, hard plastic here. Uh, this is also is a, a little bit of a hard uh, rubber. And on this side you have a, a serial port, uh, the DLC port, and the power. And if you want to plug 12 volts into it, keep it on. And on this side you have uh, RJ45. My uh, USB B, I think it is is USB B. It is, um, and uh, this tool is as well. Uh, I bought it as being the uh, wireless version, so it should have a wireless card inside. So let's gonna open it and start to have a look at it. Uh, to open this, these rubber boots they are not. It seems to be just pushing out. Let's gonna see if yes, it is. Okay, there we go one and there is my wireless card uh, if you buy this tool without the wireless card providing your tool supports the wireless you can buy these cards separately so let's take the other side <sighs> okay right battery compartment let's gonna see if we have contacts for the battery compartment some of these tools uh, the lower quality ones they do not support the batteries and um, and um, and the battery compartment sometimes is here but there's nothing inside let's kind of have a look and there we go all the contacts for the batteries two of these contacts will come out with the board which is going to be these two I think which is obviously the contact that comes to the batteries. So anyway, let's gonna open the tool. You have four Phillips screws. And it should split, I guess. Yes, it does. Okay. It's gonna. Get off the bolts, screws in there. Okay. First board and first impressions. Right. First look, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. And the reason is because, and the reason is because, uh, you might be able to see actually. Uh, can you see all these areas here? The exposed areas, they are this sort of gold plated. You can have these PCBs with uh, like uh, just normal. Let me show you one. Sold a sec. Okay, so here, here I have a board of uh, one of my old clips, which I'll be making a review on uh, the one I have right now uh, soon. But um, we'll be doing a teardown. But look, you see this gray sort of metal here, this gray sides here. Uh, these ones are these sort of gold plated, which is really good. Also, also the soldering quality is absolutely amazing. Even when I compare with this my um, with this um, clip one, which is quite old anyway, is probably the first one I had when it failed, and I couldn't get it back to work. But anyway, the the soldering quality is absolutely amazing, guys. It's, it's, everything is so precise. 
sometimes on these stalls you can have like well sometimes on these stalls things are not very uh, they are done a little bit on a rush sort of you can see like components on the side and the solder is not all the solder here that I see is absolutely amazing everything's perfect everything is absolutely perfect um, and um, all the components they are marked so there's no like blank the only thing I can see that is blank but we'll get in a minute is these two capacitors they they don't look to be branded but everything else around here looks branded an Intel microchip here or whatever this is so the SD card slot Okay, let's gonna separate. Let's gonna take this from the port from the box. Uh, because of the batteries, isn't it? There we go. Okay, the opposite side. <coughs> the opposite side, as you can see. The soldering quality, I'm really impressed, is really good. I'm, it's really, really good. Okay, so on this side we have a few more chips here. Uh, Cyclone 2. No empty spaces here. Everything is, is filled in. Let's gonna separate these boards. Just gonna pull them apart. Okay, and on this side we have these three relays. Relays here, all branded, everything is everything is branded. The only thing I can't see really but is these two capacitors because everything else is filled in guys. There's nothing, there's no really blank spaces anywhere. Uh only here. This little bit here at the top. But everything else, guys, is spot on. Here it is, my wireless card. It just slides out if you need to take it off. Like that. Okay. And as I said, you can buy these cards. Um, you can buy these cards separate in case if you buy a tool without this wireless module and um and yeah the 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 as i said the, the the soldering quality is really good these shiny soldering points it's really good i'm really pleased with the tool it does have the the buzzer uh some of them they don't bring they don't come with this little little buzzer which it buzzes when you turn it on and, and off um Obviously, that the SD card and this uh, module here, they are glued, so to avoid vibrations and stuff. I'm not gonna pull them out. Obviously, I'm not gonna touch that. But uh, but that's it. And this is the and this is my MDI two. As you can see, if you guys are looking for one and you want to compare the internals, here it is how they should look like roughly and uh, and I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be it for this for this video really I'm just gonna put the tool back on now assemble everything and um, and that's gonna be the video for this tool uh, what to say I'm really pleased uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope there's some information here somehow that you can find it useful. And um, if you have any questions, any comments, guys, put them below. And like always, thanks so much for watching.